everyone, my name is Rick Passick, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we'll be tying a uh, chronomid pattern. Um, it's a co uh, snow cone or a, a white bead head uh, chronomid. Um, fairly simple to tie, you just got to take your time building up the nice taper of the body. Um, I, I just call this my black and copper. Uh, I've been using it for quite a few years and um, it uh, has worked very well at times and okay at others, but uh, that's typical for chronomids, right? So. Um, I will switch you over to here. So what we will be tying today is this guy right here. Okay, like I said, it's just called my black and copper. Okay, um, the variation of it uh, that I'll be tying actually today will be this one here. It is the uh, same um, black and copper, um, but it has, uh, it has, whoops, it just came off, but I'll hold it like that. It's got the uh, little goose boyettes um, wing case right on it. Um, now it's I don't use real goose by uh, sorry not goose by it's jungle cock sorry. Um, I don't use the real jungle cock on these just because we're coating them all the way. So what I am using today is the the Zemberfly synthetic jungle cock extra small. So it just comes on a sheet like this. And you just peel them off so I'll show you that and then I'll be using the Zebrafly hollow tinsel in copper and just Zebrafly nano silk black 12 watt for the body um, for the hook I'm just using a size 12 um, scud hook um, I tie these in 12 14 and 16 um, and then for the bead which I forgot to take out is right here it's just a it's a 332 bead. So whatever size you're, whatever size you're tying, whatever size hook you're tying, um, get the appropriate size bead. Uh, there's bead charts out there all over the place you can find. So, um, so I will start by waxing my thread. And with this one, I will build up my probably 60%, 70% of my body before I attach my rib. I've just found that it's a little bit, uh, just over the years of tying this one, because of the slickness of the, uh, the, the, the tinsel, if you got it at the bottom, it's got a bit of a ridge, if you want to call it that, from the buildup that it has to overcome, and then it, it has a tendency of wanting to slip. So, now this is... Probably not the most exciting video, um, just because it's uh, it's a lot of exactly what you're seeing now, just me building up the body. So just keep on going, just build up the body. Stop about there and go forward. Every once in a while, let's give it a bit of a counterclockwise twist to flatten your thread. Back out. This time again, I'm going to stop just shy of where I stopped last time and then come forward. This is building my taper up is all this is doing, right? So I just uh, continue doing that back and forth, just building up my the taper of my body. And then every once in a while, I will go back all the way just to smooth out that bump, if you want to call it that, from the forming of the taper. There's a little bit of a bump sometimes where you stop. Um, it just smooths it out a bit. It You want to be as smooth as possible here, but I mean, it's not absolutely killer because you will be coating this with the UV resin anyway. Um, and so those little tiny impurities will not be seen. So I mean, it depends how fussy you are of a fly tire. If you're really, really fussy, then yeah, you might want to spend a bit more time, slow down a bit, and, and get those thread wraps, you know, one right in front of the other properly. Um, but again, like I said, it's uh, that's totally your call. Um, so now that I've got that, eh, it's probably a bit more than halfway done, a bit more than that. I am going to take my tinsel, and I'm just gonna lay it in on the side here. Pull up to the top, of course, 
didn't didn't get it properly. Just keep that on. I like having it on the top, but some people like doing it on the side, but personal preferences, right? So just continue building up your body here. You will get all this tinsel covered. Flatten it out. I can see right now, you can see that the tinsel is not fully covered, but it will. Once you go back all the way a couple of times, building your taper here, you will have it all covered nicely. It'll probably be, by the looks of it, that'll be the last time I go all the way to the back. I'm going to build up a little bit thicker up front here. Flatten that out again. All the way back up. Let's just make sure that bead is tight and doesn't move. Still got a little bit to go there. Back a bit again. Probably last time back. Okay. So now it is still, I think the bead is still slightly loose. That's okay because I'm going to be tying this in and then I'm going to tie my jungle cock in. So like I said, this has a tendency of wanting to see exactly do that. So slide. So you got to kind of hold your finger there and hold your finger there. Lock it in a couple times in behind, a couple of times in front. Nip off your excess. Now again, I don't want to build up too too much there, so now I'm gonna take my jungle cock, my synthetic jungle cock from the card here. And that's what that's what it looks like. Okay, well there. See if I can get that right on there. Okay, so now I'm just going to take that into my fingers. It can be a little bit of a bugger because they're so small, but and I don't want a big, big one here, right? I'm just going to lay that back, maybe a little less than half of the length of this. I'm just going to tie that in with a couple of ties. I want it in just like that. So I'm going to take another one off the card here. Find this stuff is really nice for the for what for this here. Um, other times when I'm doing like like steel because they, these come in many different sizes, right? Um, but um, like steel head patterns and things like that, I like using the real stuff. But anytime I'm coating like what I'm going to do here, this stuff's awesome. Yeah, good. That looks really good. That looks even. Did I just pull that down? Yeah, I did. Just make sure that's lined up and then kind of pinch it. Give it a couple more turns. Like I said, make sure that's sitting where you want it. Now you can just nip off your little excess pieces here. Excuse my hands, but they're tiny, so. It's really good to have a, for this, uh, these types of things to have a rotary vise. This one's a Dynaking, great little vices. Um, but any really rotary vice for these, for this type of thing, so you can turn it and see what you're doing on the other side, right? So there, that's about it there. It's a little bit, tiny bit showing there, but again, that'll, you won't see that once I put my uh, finish on it. So now I'm just going to do a little whip finish. Cut off my excess. Looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm taking some golf resin. This is golf, unfortunately, the 
tags come off, but it is golf, trust me. Um, this isn't the Thin Min, this is the next thicker one up. Can't remember what it's called, but so I just put a th little coat on there, try to get most of it towards the front here. For the first time, I'm going to put two coats on, and then I'm going to finish it with a coat of uh, finish it with a coat of Sally Hansen's. So take a little bit of time here to 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 get this right, this taper, and this how this stuff sits on there. Um, it will save you a bit of time in the next coat, but um, again, not a massive deal. So now I'm just going to zap it with my UV light and get that cured. Do yourselves a favor, get a good UV light. I got a good one on the way. This thing was just off of Amazon and it works, but it's... Uh, not as good as some of the ones that are on the way. I know there's uh, like the the ones from Golf and from uh, um, uh, Solares and stuff. They're they're just uh, they are better. This thing from uh, from Amazon, like I said, it it it's it's doing what I want it to do, but uh, it's definitely not perfect. It uh, it takes a lot longer to cure and uh, it doesn't cure perfectly. So. There again, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good there. So I'll zap it with a second time. So fish these like you do with any other coronamid, you know, find your depth. Um, you can sink, uh, fish this naked on a, just on a dry line and let it slowly sink through the water column, uh, buzz, buzzer style, um, like the like the people in in the in Europe, the UK, um, the way they fish them. Um, or you can fish them under an indicator, um, depending whatever you like, um, whatever style suits you. So now, because sometimes. And again, I think it's this light. Sometimes these resins do end up a little bit sticky. I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, nail hardener here. This is actually not Sally Hansen's. Um, if I've done a, uh, I did a, a um, coatings review a little while back. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's on my page. Um, and this one here really, um, it, it really surprised me actually how well this one finished and how clear it stayed and and stuff. So this is, uh, you know, just going to finish this up and then I'll, I'll show you guys the bottle. A little bit, just a little bit more. Actually, I'm just going to dip it a little bit. Um, like I said, this one, it surprised me how well this one worked. Really surprised me, actually. So it's the, uh, it's called Witchcraft Rock Solid. It's a little bottle like this. Kind of hard to see. Actually, I'll put it up here. You guys can see it. So, yeah, it uh, surprised me how well it is, how well it works. So, so I did get a little thicker on the back end than I wanted, but that's okay. It, it, it'll, it'll fish well. So that is the finished chronomid. Give that one a go. And like I said, the, those Zemperfly, uh, Zemperfly uh, artificial uh, jungle cock, amazing stuff uh, for this kind of thing. Great, um, just gives that little hot spot, that little that little wing bud, that little wing case, right? Feel to it. So, alrighty. If you like that video, give her a thumbs up. If you have have subscribed, thank you. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any future uh, tying videos and tie lines, everyone.